Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Thank you so very much for joining me. Today I'm bringing you a small pad smash. Smash That Small Pad is a challenge with Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube and Stampin' Cat on Instagram. The links are down below. So three friends get together each month and share with you the small pad that we stashed. This one, I think my friend Noni picked up for me last year on clearance. It's Let Freedom Ring. I have the ephemera pack. I have the 12 by 12. If you saw me go through my red, white, and blue, it, yeah, I just, I really like red, white, and blue. So anyway, what I did was I got it out and I smashed the whole thing. I have 22 cards plus a bonus item to show you at the end. And some of them are birthday cards. I have family with lots of July birthdays, even on the 4th. I don't have any problem using red, white, and blue for all sorts of different things. And in fact, this card right here, I used the pinwheels from the ephemera pack, and then I left it blank. I was going to make it a birthday card, and I know my mom's always looking for blanks, so I don't know. I might just leave it that way. I mixed it up. I may have started with templates or inspiration, but I, I don't know. You know, it just, things get away from me. But I know there are some diagonals that my friend Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts is using in her sketch sets. If you haven't checked those out, be sure and look at her channel if you need some inspiration. And some other ones where you cut them and flip them. So I start that and then who knows where it goes. I was using up some red mirror paper that was in my stash and this is ephemera from the collection. I have a scrap or a die cut on the inside of each of them. This one, stars, I was going through my container that I had of stars and using those up too. Fourth of July, I do have a couple of these just because the color was right or something like that. And I took a silver pen and jazzed it up a little bit and I put it on red mirror paper. I tried to keep these all very mailable, very flat. Lamb that I love. This, I just had so much fun with these. The paper pack had four pieces of paper with the same cut aparts on them. That got a little bit much for me, so I didn't use all four sheets for the cut aparts, but you get it. I had fun. Many thanks. Red, white, and blue thank you card. You could send it to a soldier. You could send it to anybody. Thank you. God bless America. This was also inspired by our friend Beth. In one of her sketch sets, you take these little squares. I cut the squares, then I don't know. The day gets away from me. I just go, hmm, that's inspiring, and never actually make the sketch. America the Beautiful, and then a Freedom die cut down here. Well, actually, it was a an ephemera piece from the collection. I didn't die cut it myself. Same for this, let freedom ring, and then two layers of paper and it rounded the corners. Birthday wishes. I really liked these pinwheels in the collection, the red, white, and blue pinwheels. And then the ephemera was from the ephemera pack. This birthday wishes, maybe not the highest quality stamp, but it was the one I had handy. And then I have pinwheels on the inside. America the beautiful, land that I love, and some stars and flags. And I think this red stripe, the back of it might have been these ephemera sheets. So some of them I was really trying to use that paper. Fourth of July. So I do have a couple of fourth, but look at this. It had stars all over the ephemera piece. And then I added stars. I just couldn't help it. Stars on the inside. I'll try to remember to set out the ones that are for say fourth and use those around the time. Hooray for the red, white, and blue. I'd send this to you anytime in July. I'd probably send it to you in May also, but I'm a little late for that. Stars and Stripes Forever America. And you can see I've got the red mirror paper and then this paper and then a piece from the ephemera. I didn't cut the little flaggies. They came that way. I mean, I can, but it's not really my best skill. I loved these, I don't know, what do you call them? Like party things, you know, you put them on your porch. Is that a thing you do in the South? We don't really do that in the Pacific Northwest a lot, but they look cool. And America the Beautiful was an ephemera piece and I mounted it on the foil paper. I just love that one. America the Beautiful, I don't know if you can see, but it, it's a whole bunch of layers down here. I don't know if you can tell that on camera. Hooray for the red, white, and blue. And again, little ephemera piece up there and putting together things at angles just makes it fun. Land that I love and some star die cuts. These shiny ones, 
Kleenex boxes. So not only do they add dimension, but they have shine. You don't even have to emboss them or anything. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. It's almost like the other one, except it's flipped the other way. So not exactly the same card. America the Beautiful, hooray for the red, white, and blue. And that's the uh, ephemera piece. And I left the little skirting down at the bottom. Land that I love. Different layers here and an extra flag here. Land that I love again. You can, you can tell I liked that die cut. And then again, tissue box right there. This one, if you look at it carefully, it's scraps of all the angles that I cut from the other cards. It was one of the last ones that I put together and I had all those weird triangle pieces left. Those are my 22 cards. Here's the other thing. I could have made 23, but at the last minute I thought, wouldn't this be cool on the front of a July daily? I mean, you can make shaker cards. They're not going to mail as well. And I thought it would be fun on the front of a journal. So I didn't glue it down yet. I'm going to wait and see. So be sure to check out Kathy and Beth and see what they made this month. And then I'm not sure if I'll have another video before then, but on the 7th is Smash Our Stash and it's UFOs and Work in Progress. So you know you will see all sorts of fun things for that video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking great care of yourselves and making time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.